Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon. So, last episode we went and built up this little dockside port area, and as you can see, I have gone and gotten the wall in. Quite happy with how that turned out there with all the deep slate and everything else. I think it's a good mix with the road above. Might need to do a little bit of work connecting it to the road below, but... Today, I think it's about time we go and get a few ships in, which that's going to be interesting because this port here is going to be for some airships, which means we need to figure out ships that are going to fly since it doesn't make any sense to have ships to go over water in an area where there is literally nothing for thousands of blocks. So we have to go and figure out what we're going to do for that. And I think perhaps one place to start be to head out to an end city and check out an end ship. So if we head over there, we do know where there is one. And fortunately, since we have our paths up from our clock here, which as you can see, I took out the lanterns for right now and we just have the end rods on the outside here. And that was mostly so I could lay out how I wanted those to look, which I think they look really, really nice here from the air. Can't wait to see how it looks once we finally get them in and this should be a lot of fun but as i was saying we do need to head out to an end city just so we can get an idea of what we're doing so we have this city here which is where we got our shulker from and hopefully this should give us an idea here because these ships are floating so what better than to start with a ship that already floats? So this is going to take a lot of purr purr build over there. So I'm thinking we might just take this one and park it over there. So I'm going to go get this thing repaired and bring it back to the island. And I'll be right back. All right, so we may have run into a little bit of a problem moving the ship over here. And as you can see, it is not flying up there. We may have crashed it. Um, it's, it's fine, it's fine. We, we, we did collect all the pieces, and they're all more or less sitting in here. So um, hopefully we can get that thing flying and put it back together again. I guess that means we can't just go steal a ship from an end city and go park it over here. We instead need to more or less build our own. And as easy as this would be with a dry dock up here in a ship building, which we could do for one of these. Although that might be hard with the path in the way. We don't exactly have a very good place to put one of those. Anyway, we just kind of need to build our own. So. Let's go over here then. So we do have a bit of a limit here because we have this section here, but this should also help us get the ship in. So we have our dock there. So we want to make sure we put this someplace where we can actually still board it. So I think we'll go here. Let's go up two, no, three blocks above this little island section here and go out from there. So I think right about here is where we're going to put the bow. So we'll put a stair there. And then we just got to go back about 10 or so blocks. And I think that will work for the keel. And I just realized this is a little close to the docks. So we actually need to move this out a few blocks. Let's see, three should be good. Yeah, three. All right. But once we do that, we just need to go up one, out one, I think, up, out, out, and then just keep doing that until we're satisfied with the height of our boat here, which I think that should do it. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Just need to put this up a little more, I think, then out there. Yeah, I think that'll do. So let's get the basic framework of the underside of our base in, hopefully not stare at too many Endermen. And then I'll be right back. 
All right, so a little bit of work later, and at least I think the front part is looking all right. The back still has absolutely nothing, and pretty much just is a straight drop. Now, where did that Enderman go? Anyway, I think the front part here is looking all right. May need to lower the deck a little bit, which I did decide to do out of jungle. Might switch most of this out for birch to match the rest of the ship. But what I'm thinking is what we're going to do for the back is we're just going to have a stair there. Start building this up here. And this isn't going to go out too far. But I think that should be good. Let's take a look at how it looks from the side here. Exactly know how to do this. I think that these corners here need to be a little bit smoother, but like that, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I just have to figure out how we're doing that on the other side. But issues with the stern aside, I do want to go and put a small little cabin area back here. I think just need to make out. Let's just fill this in with birch for now. So I think. That should be good. We'll put a door here. Thanks there. And go up three blocks. I don't think that'll be too awkward, maybe? I don't know. Let's try breaking this off and expanding that out a little bit. But I'm thinking from there we'll have jungle railing. We need to have stairs, which would mean fitting those into there bringing that down like that. That way we can get up to the upper deck here. All right, I think that looks okay. I don't think it's great. Probably need to do some variations in here, maybe add some windows into the back section here and definitely swap out this deck. Looks a little off, but we do have a space here. We need to have some sort of hatch that will let us into the cargo area here. And I think, other than that, this ship is looking all right. So put cargo hatch right in there, right in the middle of the ship. That should look okay. Do we? And I guess we have a couple birch trap doors that we could use for that. Might look okay, but we'll have to figure out what we're going to use for those trap doors. Maybe we'll put it more on the sides here, but we have path up here. We should get some lanterns. Let's grab a torch for now, but on the railing there. But I think that looks all right. We do need to get masts up, I think. Either that or we have to figure out how this thing is actually flying. I'm half tempted to do a balloon. I don't think that'll look quite right with this ship. So we'll have to play around and see what we can do for that. But I think for now, just basic shape wise, I think that's looking all right. So I'm going to go play around a bit with that and see what I can come up with for the flying and propulsion systems. And then I'll be right back. All right. So I did a little bit of playing around. And although I think that the balloon is a little small, I think the idea is there, and I do like the detailing that we did there. We may need to do something with the birch fence posts here to kind of make them a little bit better, but I am liking how those look against the snow and the wool. I think that combo made a really nice balloon idea here. And other than the fact that this part here is really, really straight, I think it's looking all right. We may have to go and Bury that a little bit, but we do also have to get in a little bit more. Thinking maybe off the back here, we can do some sort of propeller or something. Only like two blocks, I think. Build off of there. Let's put a block there for that. And then we do one, two fence posts off of there. So let's get this in here. So that would be one, two, and then we can just build a kind of propeller windmill kind of thing off the back. 
that might look okay. And that might give us a little bit more stuff to play around with or potion on here. But I think concept wise, that is looking all right. And we will have to go and play around with that a little bit more. So I'm going to go try and figure out what dimensions we actually need to make that balloon. Get a lot more fence posts, which is going to require more sticks and uh, get my dirt back from this annoying Enderman. And then we'll be right back. All right. So we managed to expand the balloon. We managed to tie it down a little bit more after it attempted to escape. And I think it's all right. I think we might need to add a few more connections back down to the ship. And maybe not just have two right there in the middle. Maybe we need to put one down there, one down there. And maybe get rid of the two in the middle. I don't really know. Might do one somewhere over here, one in the front. Do six connections, maybe? I don't really know. I'm going to have to play around with that. Get a lot more birch fences because we have one after covering this thing in birch fences. But I think it looks all right. I may need to swap some of those out before the fence gates because I think that looks really nice there on the side. I think that just adds a little bit more detail into it. I think it's looking all right. May also have to play around with the shape of the balloon. Looks kind of pointed right now. I think size wise, that looks about right for the ship. And turns out it's actually about one block longer than the actual ship, which is fine. But that's probably what it needs to be there. And as you can see, we added in the propeller. Not quite sure about putting the wool on the ends of the spokes, but I guess it makes it look a bit more hello Enderman. Rotatey and actually nope, I do not like that. So let's go and get rid of those. Okay, good. The Enderman has left us. Cause yeah, no, I'm I'm not liking how that looks there. We are going to get rid of these blocks here. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. We'll have to figure out how we're getting to the other ones. Actually, we have scaffolding on us. So the wool is going to extend a block beyond where the end of the fence post is, but I think that looks better than just leaving it at two. And we'll get the top one there once we jump back up. But I think that looks all right for our pillar. You know what, maybe we'll spin the fence post down and sit. No, no, I think the wool's just fine like that. But with that, we still need to get a few things in to the center of the ship. Yeah, actually look up how we make a cartography table. That would actually be something that'd be really good to put in there. Now that I think about it, where is the cartography table? Cart, two paper, three points. Okay, we might have some paper floating around here. Actually, we have sugar cane out here anyway. So we can go get one of those, put that into the cavern. Maybe move our crafting table into there. And figure out what else needs to go in there. So let's see, what do we have floating around in here? All right, there we go. A little bit of stuff that we had laying around and one quick little trade to the villagers. And I think this is a nice tiny little cabin area. I like how this looks. Maybe we'll put a lectern here. Do we have this stuff for a lectern? I think if we use the last of our birch wood here, we can... Oh, no, we need a bookshelf. We need a bookshelf for a lectern. Oh, well. But I think this is kind of nice. We have a nice little cartography table. Maybe we'll go in... Hmm. I do like that in the corner, though. Oh, well, we'll just keep it like this. Maybe we'll figure out something that needs to go in there. But I think this is a nice tiny little area. We've got a chest, keep all your loot. We've got a bed and nice little quiet private quarters there. Then we've got the hold there that doesn't have very much. Not quite sure what all to put in there. But I think with that, that will be good for our little ship there. I like how that turned out. 
Yeah, I think there's still some little issues and stuff with the balloon that we need to work out. But that thing took us forever to tie down and was yeah. So we may have to see if we can inflate it within the confines that we have here and see if that might work. And also do something with the Enderman spawning on top of it. That'll be fun. Anyway, I think that, that is going to be it for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on out here and in the rest of this world. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.